All right, it's Tim from Toy Tinker Tim. In this episode, I'm gonna take a look at the Ultimate Iron Giant from Trend Masters, and released in 1999. And this Ultimate Iron Giant action figure has a lot of different features, and uh, it's got a lot of articulation. And one thing he's big on is height. Uh, for me, measuring from foot to the top of the fin, going down the center of his head, I've got him coming in at about 20 and a half inches tall. One of the features is there's a lever on the back of his head that changes his eye from two different expressions. Uh, here we have the swirling like attack mode and if we flip it down then he's back into his kind of uh, everyday functioning calm mode eye expression there. Here's a close-up view of the lever on the back of his head, and that is what changes the different eye expression. Here we'll take a good full body look here at the back of the figure. Lots of detail. Uh, you know, all the rivets are actually sculpted in, not just painted onto the surface. And uh, so we kind of come back up here. We'll take a look at the compartments here in the back. You have your uh, battery access here, and this is the storage compartment here. Let me get that one handed. There we go. And uh, so when he eats his items, they just go right into here. He has the sculpture, uh, some of Dean's uh, sculpture artwork here everything's trying to come out at once so bear with me there so there's his sculpture Dean's beatnik sculpture artwork there it's a uh, vinyl -y, uh, figure so we have that one we have a car from the junkyard Dean's sc scrap junkyard there again same kind of vinyl -y material uh, and we're just marked on the back with China copyright Warner Brother WB on the uh, bottom side of that car. It's just kind of a mangled up, chewed up looking thing there. And then we also have the tractor, which has a bite taken out of it. It's kind of not so much in scale with everything. None of these items are, but there's still items. Uh, if you're familiar with the movie and the story, you can identify with right away there. And last but not least, get a hold of him here, Hogarth Hughes. And uh, Hogarth is sculpted out of that same kind of vinyl or cast out of the same vinyl material. Here's the thing though with Hogarth, there's a magnet in his base and they are certain trigger points on the Iron Giant figure that he activates. So we'll take a look at those here next. He's sculpted into the Iron Giant's uh, left shoulder in the top there. You'll see here there's a little spot there that the Hogarth figure stands into. And when the Iron Giant is switched on here, uh, he sits in there. Okay and it activates one of the sayings, but it only does it once, so each time you put it back in, it puts out another saying. <laughs> yummy! So we're hoping uh, Hogarth isn't yummy here. Let's try it. There we go. Another activation point for the Iron Giant for the magnet. Uh, in the palm of his hand, there's no uh, carved out notch like there is on the shoulder 
but if you place Hogarth in the palm, Hogarth, it'll activate the Iron Giant also. Uh, when he's in a demo mode, there's a button in the palm of his hand here. Let's see if we can get him turned here a little bit to get a good view of that one. Uh, and that being pressed in the demo mode will go through the different expressions as well. Another uh, part of this is that when he's in his regular functioning mode where Hogarth will activate him, he also has a motion sensor in the front here. It's uh, just in the waistline, right about to the middle of where there would be a rivet here going around his waist. You'll see just an empty spot right there. And that is the motion sensor. So if you come within a range, It'll trigger one of the expressions in the head movement there. So when he is set in the B mode here, then uh, he'll be activated from Hogarth in his hand or on his shoulder. Your middle is your off, and A is in the demo mode where if you push the button in the palm of his hand, then he'll go through his different expressions, uh, sayings and things like that. When the Iron Giant shipped, there was this plastic peg inserted next to the uh, mode button here, and then that would be pulled out by the purchaser there, but just a gray peg, um, if I can get the autofocus here to come in for me, it might be too close, but anyhow, it's a gray peg, there's a little bit of a notch there into the top of that peg there and uh, it was shipped with that slid in uh, to the side there preventing the button I guess from accidentally going over into the off or into the, the functioning mode with the magnetic, ho magnetic Hogarth. So here's a detailed view of uh, one of his hands. Uh, this one shows the button in the palm of his hand for the, the manual, the display version setting. Uh, but both hands are set up the same way. They're uh, articulated here and uh, the thumb also rotates and the uh, wrist turns. Uh, he turns at the mid-arm and of course he bends at the elbow and then uh, at the shoulder he swivels too. So while I have him kind of into this demo mode here, we're going to demonstrate how he actually eats his scrap iron pieces here. Let's get him relined up here. We'll go through a couple items here because I think you'll get the idea. So you gotta push in the button and try to toss it on in there while he's in motion here. We'll go for the tractor. And it's not really the most <laughs> smooth action here. There we go. We got it down the old hatch there, though. So that's how he swallows his items. So I'm going to try to take a look also at some of the leg articulation here. He's got, uh, right now he's trying to move his backwards here. Let's pull that leg back up here once for us. Uh, he can swivel and uh, a knee, uh, leg at the hip. Pretty firm, pretty solid stuff. Get a leg lift in there and hold that as well. Uh, there's a little bit of ankle movement. Not one of the strong points, but with all the other features he's got, it's not a big issue by any means. Uh, just try to get in a little bit better view here up in the hip area there, but uh, this is where he does have the twist articulation there in that lower leg then to help with the posing. Okay, we'll take a look here at the packaging that the figure came in. Uh, there's a uh, vacuum form shaped uh, insert inside there with the view of the power plant there where Hogarth first encounters Iron Giant. And uh, down here on the front we have the artwork with Hogarth uh, talking about that try me feature. It's the uh, button in the palm of his hand there. 
that you would access through the front right to bottom window here on the box there to uh, get the hand to work there. So here's our front. We'll take a look here at the other sides as well. Here's our side panel for the box, Ultimate Iron Giant, set the Iron Giant for guard mode. It's the motion detector, motion sensor. It comes to life when you approach. And this is the thing, I remember, um, this one was ordered through a Warner Brothers store catalog for me as a gift. And in the pictures, it looked like his eyes were supposed to light up. And when I got it and found out they don't, uh, it was a little bit of a bummer, but the figure is pretty cool. But I remember in some of the uh, artwork for in the catalog at the time there, I thought his eyes did light up there, but uh, unfortunately in, you know, budget everything else on making these things, uh, they have to draw a line somewhere there. Here's a shot of the back of our packaging. Uh, kind of gives into uh, background here of uh, the Iron Giant coming into Hogarth's finding and him claiming kind of ownership, his friend of the Iron Giant here. Talks about the different features. Uh, and the eyes do not light up again, uh, even in the packaging. It says light up eyes, change shape and color to mimic expression, but they don't. Um, I know too, I had contacted their uh, customer support back when I had gotten the figure just to make sure I didn't have some kind of a dud figure where the eyes weren't lighting up. And uh, they told me no, that the eyes would not light up. So if somebody did get one with light up eyes, I'd like to know. But uh, yeah, no light up eyes here. Right. So one of the purely by chance, sheer luck things that happened uh, when this was ordered for me as a Christmas gift was they shipped it in one of the Master Pack carton boxes uh, to send it off to me. So, you know, it's a little bonus. It's something I've tried to hold on to and take care of as well, but uh, it just gives you the info of how they were imported, brought into the U.S. And uh, that's the front of the box. We'll swing around here and take a side view. And here's a side view of the box. Uh, Master Carton type thing there. Uh, it's interesting, I guess something was changed with about the measurements. Because um, they've put a uh, bit of like a brown tape over the thing so uh, yeah so it's pretty cool not your uh, average thing to find or get but that's my uh, complete ultimate iron giant figure with the original shipping carton master carton box as well I guess it wouldn't be really complete if we didn't get a shot too of the detail work here on the bottom of the feet there so, I hope this was uh, informative. Maybe you learned some new things about the Ultimate Iron Giant action figure. Uh, I was able to show you at least two some of the packaging details, uh, the Master Carton, Master Pack box packaging. And uh, if you go to toytinkertim.com, I've got some still images there as well of the figures and uh, a view of the instruction sheet as well that came with the figure. So if you liked it, I hope you'll uh, hit the like, consider subscribing, and uh, thanks for watching. Take care.